Now to Ed or Danny, Ed, we are hitting new lows here, you know, down 2.4 percent or so in the S&P 500. Uh, kind of easy to say, well, we were entering a tough seasonal period. The biggest stocks in the market were crowded and expensive. We needed this pullback. But uh, is there anything else going on that, that would concern you? I think you covered it all, uh, Michael. But uh, <laughs> look, I, I think that um, usually uh, in a bull market, you do every now and then get up, get some sell offs. And uh, this one is a nasty one. I think it's going to turn out to be a, an, an official correction in the mega, Magnificent Seven. But uh, I think you're also seeing, as you pointed out, uh, that some money is going into the rest of the market. Uh, it's not everything is down today, uh, but the big, the big decline is in the Magnificent Seven. Uh, I think that when you uh, look at uh, the underlying fundamentals of the economy, I don't think we're going to get an, an economy-wide or S&P 500-wide correction of 10 percent to 20 percent, because I don't see a recession out there, and I don't think investors are actually worrying about a recession, uh, given that the Fed has basically promised that the lower interest rates, if that's necessary, and I don't see a bear market. So I think this is uh, a sell-off. They happen from time to time. Uh, this one is nasty because it is a correction in uh, the Magnificent Seven. Citi maintained its $150 price target and buy rating for NVIDIA Corporation on Wednesday in the wake of the company's launch of a new service meant to advance generative AI for businesses. Using Meta's publicly available Llama 3.1 models, NVIDIA unveiled the NVIDIA AI Foundry service in tandem with NVIDIA NIM Inference Microservices. This program aims to assist businesses and countries in creating custom supermodels for their unique industry requirements by combining Llama 3.1 with NVIDIA's software, hardware, and knowledge. Citi views NVIDIA's Tuesday launch as a major step toward meeting the growing demand for AI solutions in the commercial market. The Citi analyst emphasized how crucial it is for businesses to have access to a variety of models when choosing AI cloud platforms or services. The action taken by NVIDIA is seen as a calculated attempt to help businesses realize the full promise of AI. At the next SIGGRAPH 2024, NVIDIA and Meta are likely to highlight their joint efforts in AI beyond AI GPU technology, with the NVIDIA AI Foundry service serving as a focus point. This collaboration will probably be cited as a shining example of how the businesses may work together to develop AI applications. NVIDIA's new service is a component of a larger plan to use cutting-edge AI solutions to get into the commercial market. The company's partnership with Meta and the incorporation of Llama 3.1 models into its offerings demonstrate NVIDIA's dedication to growing its market share and impact in the artificial intelligence domain. We'll talk about target projections and advice in today's video, so make sure not to miss out. However, before you do, if you'd like to stay up to date on NVIDIA's most recent updates and the most recent news from the stock market, you can subscribe to our channel. We publish daily updates about the biggest shifts in market catalysts, so click the bell icon button to ensure you don't miss the most recent updates. All right, back to today's video. Josh Schaefer. And Josh, you're highlighting one chart that's taking a closer look at election cycles and the impact that they could potentially have on your portfolio. Yeah, Ali. So this is a chart from Sam Rowe over at Ticker. He highlighted this from Charles Schwab strategist. And really the broad takeaway here is the benefit of staying invested and the power of compound interest. So what Sam is looking at here is the return of $10,000. This would be between 1961 in 2023, so about a 60-year time period, the return of $10,000 if you only invested under a Republican president would be $102,000. If you only invested under a Democratic president, the return would be $500,000. But see here, if you just stayed invested the entire time and you didn't try and play the game between whether you're invested under a Republican or Democratic president, your return would be $5.1 million. So the large takeaway here being that no matter who the president is, the long-term trend in markets has been higher, perhaps because the lesson there of the power of what $10,000 can turn into in the stock market over the course of 60 years. And another note I wanted to add on presidential elections, this was something that came from Keith Lerner over at Truist. He took a look at the returns over the last three presidencies, both in the Obama administration, the Trump administration, and the Biden administration. We were looking at annualized returns for the S&P 500, somewhere in a 13 to 16% range. That's, of course, 
two different political parties there, and we're covering a pretty wide period of time. But again, the trend has been higher in markets. So largely the advice from strategists is to not involve your politics with how you're investing. A remains worth watching segment for global investors in 2024. But how do you keep up with the AI sector and others that you may interested in? I recommend trying Moomoo, a sponsor of today's video. Some features to discover stocks with investment potential has blown me away. You can use the industry chain to find companies throughout the entire AI sector or use the stock screener to filter stocks according to your investment strategy. Having the option to set parameters like industry, market indicators, financial indicators, technical indicators, and more. Ultimately, discover potentially undervalued stocks and those that appear to show buy signals to help inform your strategies in an effort to capitalize on AI-related opportunities. At the same time, Moomoo is one of the cheapest trading platforms I've found. It offers zero commission on stocks, options, and EDS. After comparisons, I've discovered the fees are among the lowest. Right now, new users who open an account using my link and make a qualified deposit can get up to 15 free stocks. Enjoy a limited time 8.1% APY on idle cash for three months and earn up to $300 cash reward for transferring in their portfolio. These rewards can be earned together, so don't miss out. And thanks again to Moomoo for sponsoring this portion of the video. This is a short-term sell-off. Yeah, and in fact, um, you know, we all have been through earnings seasons where they, they come in these phases where it seems like yeah. big downside surprises and sets the, the next big companies up for an easy hurdle to clear. Just quickly, right. uh, Ed, just remind us, you know, where you sit in terms of uh, your, your formal targets for the S&P at this point now that we've tipped back below 5,500. Yeah, well, I managed to pick the top in this particular move <laughs> because right near, near the top, it was, uh, we, we had crossed uh, 5,400 a while ago and yep. we got to something like uh, over 5,600. And I said, look, by year end, uh, I, I, I would raise that to 5,800. And I still think that's the case because I think the economy is going to prove to be resilient. I think we are going to get uh, one, one rate cut. And I think, uh, you know, the, we'll have less political uncertainty after the November election and uh, the market will learn to live with uh, whoever's in the White House. So yep. 5,800. Uh, so, uh, 6,500 uh, over the next year, year and a half. Okay. All right. Yeah, well, we, we got to the doorstep of 5,700 just a couple of weeks ago, I guess. So it's, yeah. it's not necessarily a huge thing. Ed, thanks so much. Really appreciate sure. the time as we head into the close. Because GPUs are significantly quicker than standard computer processors and can handle multiple jobs at once, they are essential for AI. For AI models to be trained and used, which require rapid processing of massive volumes of data, speed is essential. The government's initial requirements for GPU capacity and the deployment timetable will be specified in the next Request for Proposals RFP. With its cutting-edge graphic processing unit, GPU, chips, NVIDIA, and its partners are also reaching out to India's creator economy, which includes YouTubers, gamers, and other creative types. Through its system builder partners, it delivers its certified studio PCs and GeForce RTX 40 series GPUs to the makers. According to Dupar, NVIDIA is making sure the necessary resources are accessible in India to support the development of its intellectual property, IPEs. Some people have the desire to make money out of their work. People are more productive when they are financially secure. They implement the kindness that is entering society, and we want to bring about the goodness aspect of it," he continued. With all of these considerations, NVIDIA is unquestionably a great buy, especially if you're looking to invest for the long term because the company hasn't reached its full potential yet. What do you think about NVIDIA stock? Is it a good buy at the current price? Please share your opinions with us in the comments section, and don't forget to let us know what you think NVIDIA is worth. If you're interested in learning what other companies, like NVIDIA, have been up to lately, click on the next video on your screen. We'll see you there.